In this last tutorial on Blackboard Gradebook Basics, I want to cover just a few of the small details that have to do with the special symbols that appear from time to time in the Blackboard Gradebook. Remember you access the Gradebook by clicking on Control Panel, then click on Gradebook. And I've created a quiz uh, and used it to demonstrate a couple of the special symbols that appear from time to time. In the first tutorial, you remember, I talked about uh, this key at the bottom of the Blackboard uh, gradebook here that displayed some special symbols. A little padlock that indicates it's a test that's in progress, the exclamation point indicating that some manual grading needs to be done, and uh, the check mark for a complete, or uh, which is typically used for uh, surveys, not so much for quizzes. These two symbols here are the most common symbols that typically appear in the gradebook. For example, if you use a quiz within Blackboard and you click the setting that says students must complete the quiz once they've started, and the student elects to simply try to peek as quickly as possible and then back out of it, they are locked out of that quiz because they did not complete it once they started it. And they cannot go back and begin this quiz or take the quiz again and submit it for a grade until you have cleared their attempt. The way you clear a student's lock on a quiz is to simply click on the padlock icon, simply click on the clear attempt button. You're asked if you're sure you want to do this, I say yes, I want to do that, and now you can see the padlock is gone and you can notify the student that now they can go back and take the quiz. The exclamation point indicates that a test has been taken, but one or more of the questions require manual grading. Questions such as um, short answer or essay questions cannot be graded automatically. Therefore, the instructor is required to go in and to view the exam where those questions are used and to grade those manually. To do so, we'll simply click on the exclamation point, click on the view button, and I happen to know that at the bottom of this quiz is an essay question. I'll scroll down to that particular question. Here is the question itself. The student's answer is next to the section that's called given answer. You can, when you create the test, provide some sample answer, but in this case I didn't. And now it's up to me to evaluate the student's response in relationship to the requirements and assign some points here. Right now, as you can see, there are zero out of ten points and I will just put in an arbitrary number here and click Submit. When I get back to the gradebook, and as you can see here, the exclamation point is gone and the points uh, awarded for the entire quiz, in this case none of the other questions were answered, but the point values are, are added up and they replace the exclamation point. So those are the two things that you'll run into more often than not in terms of using the gradebook. If you see the padlock, that means you need to reset uh, a student's access to a quiz. And if you see the exclamation point, you need to manually grade an answer or more, one or more answers in the, the quiz in order for the final grade to be calculated. Mm -hmm.